is way too high. <laughs> like me. Uh, today is my last day doing 75 hard. It's not actually my last day, it's like my 71st day. We're just gonna pretend like it's my last day. To be honest, every single day has pretty much been the same, so you're not missing out on much. It just means that I can change the title and it would look a lot better. <laughs> so if you don't know what 75 hard is, it's basically a fitness challenge where for 75 days, uh, you just turn into a bit of a hermit, really. So you have to drink three and a half litres of water a day. However, I'm including coffee in mine because coffee is basically just a lot of water with a few coffee beans, so. Right, call me cheating if you want. I don't care, I've done 70 odd days, I fuck off. <laughs> it's two exercises a day, one has to be outside. Read 10 pages of a book, oh, and no alcohol. It's not ridiculous, put it that way. But for 75 days, it's been a bit boring, to be fair. Actually, that is such a lie. I've actually really enjoyed it. This bad boy has been my best friend for the past 70 odd days. It's my metal water bottle. Oh, I don't know why I did. I thought that, that was gonna make a sound. I don't, I don't know why. Yeah, so this is 500 milliliters. Oh, 600 milliliters. Oh. I always thought it was 500. Oh, well, I've been drinking more than I thought. So as you've seen, I've had my creatine this morning. I have that every morning, even though it looks like drain cleaner and a coffee to start my day. So that's already like 500 milliliters of water done. My first exercise for the day is go to the gym. So I'm gonna go now. But did I expect it to be two 10 kg boxes this fucking big? Definitely not. I felt so bad as well because obviously I wasn't in the house. So my poor neighbour over the road had to take these boxes into his house. Well, imagine like someone knocking on your door and just giving you these two bad boys to keep in your house. So I felt awful. Like, I apologise profusely. But yeah, I really wasn't expecting these two. So I'm gonna have some breakfast and then we're gonna open these bad boys. To be so One thing that I've been doing a lot recently, and it's really, really weird. Like, if someone says something weird, or something happens that's, like, weird or funny or something, I'll, I'll do this when I'm by myself as well. I'll, like, look as if there's, like, a camera there. It's so hard to explain. Like, you know when something funny happens, and then, like, a character on the TV show will be, like, to the camera? Yeah, I keep doing that. And it's really fucking weird. I keep catching myself doing it, and I think, what, what are you doing? But I can't stop. And I, I secretly find it really funny, but no one actually knows that I do that. Um, so now you know. It's really weird. <laughs> bad boys open. I'm actually quite excited to be fair. Also, for tax purposes, I'm keeping everything in these boxes. Yeah, I was thinking the other day, how easy would life be if you just didn't pay your taxes? 
In fact, it's pretty cool if you don't pay your taxes. Anyone watching out there, you are cool if you don't pay your taxes. Well, let's get these open then. Oh, I like these. Marlboro Classics. But I swear to God, because I thought you could get Marlboro Reds like in the airport. Either way, these are fucking sick. What the fuck is that? Is that an apron? Uh, I don't know what it is, but it's definitely not a skirt because that would send you to jail. If you've left your PE kit at home, the PE teacher is definitely coming to you and say, get that out of loss probably. Ooh, Hilfiger puffer jacket. Go on, the boy. Uh, oh. <laughs> These are the other things that tell you about our lost property. They're about five sizes too big. I'm not speaking from personal experience. Believe me, I, I am. I am. That was a lie. <laughs> I'm going to try it on afterwards. Diesel in a 20-year waist. <laughs> that is literally, that's, that's well up my alley. Look at them. This is incredible. Uh, I, I want to wear this. I might wear this today. Big red puffer jacket. That is... Oh my god, I nearly took you out there. I'm very happy with that, to be fair. What do you think of the fit, guys? I think it, I think it goes hard. <laughs> if you haven't been in the PE trenches looking like this, trying your best to play fucking... What do you even call it? Rounders or something, then you're not a real one. Because many a time was I rocking up to play rounders looking like this. I actually, I actually quite like it. You know, I, I put it on and I thought, like, you know, I would say the piss before, but I actually kind of like it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I, I really want to know who started making this item of clothing and thought, yeah, that looks really good. Because <laughs> what? So, with that embarrassment out of the way, um, I'm going to go for a walk. That'll be my second exercise of the day, but not my final exercise. Yeah, I, I go on a walk pretty much every day. It's, I, I don't know, it just gets you out of the house, doesn't it? And it's nice to just see your surroundings, get some fresh air and that, which is great. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take my journal with me because there's a YouTuber that I watch and she takes her journal out and does it out, you know, in the wild. And <laughs> that's such a weird way of putting it. And it, it, clearly works wonders for her. As a little bit extra part of my challenge, uh, I tried to do, or been trying to do, um, less than three hours screen time a day. I didn't realize how addicted I was to my phone. Yeah, I would be going from downstairs to upstairs and I would be scrolling on my phone. That's just mental, you shouldn't be doing that. So if I can help anyone out, I'd say try and reduce your screen time. If you actually took a step back and realized how often you're on your phone, you'd be pretty scared because mine used to be like five six hours and uh, you gotta think you're awake for like 16 hours a day roughly so you, you you basically just lost half your day just scrolling on your phone and i hated the idea of that so i barely go on my phone these days it's down to like two hours which is still actually a very long time but yeah <sighs> go as planned, did it? <laughs> it's very relaxing out here, so I'm gonna stay here for a little bit. Uh, and then I'm gonna go down that way and try and find a bench so I can sit and do a bit of journaling. Because, why not? Uh, and I might grab a coffee, I'm not sure. I probably will grab a coffee. Yeah. I'm starting to get the camera every time. There's workmen all around. So if 
I don't crumble to social anxiety, I will journal right here. Everyone's staring at me right now. go to sit down at my table, I had to trip over my chair. And then when she brings my coffee over, I said thank you, and I went to pick it up and I spilled, like, uh, more than a dribble, a noticeable amount. And then I stood up to get some napkins to clean it up, and I, like, when I stood up, the, I, like, the back of my legs hit my chair, and my chair tipped over and made a loud noise. So it's been a bit of a nightmare from start to finish, really. I've already done my two exercises for the day, which is great. But I'm going to do a third. I'm going to Five Aside tonight with my cousin. My cousin's 16 and all his friends are 16. So, you know, it. it's not the coolest thing to rock up as an 18 year old to go and play football with nine 16 year olds. So that's not good, but the night's lads, so I don't mind. As much as a loser as I do look when I'm there, I do not care because I enjoy playing football and it's great. Plus it's good to spend quality time with the family. I, see, I'm trying to justify myself now. <laughs> and to be honest, I would look even more of a loser if I rocked up to the five-a-side pitch uh, with a bunch of 16-year-olds and said, lads, um, I want to film a bit of my YouTube video. And I would probably end up getting beaten up by a bunch of 16-year-olds, uh, which would not be a good look. So I'll try my best to record a few bits and bobs, but <laughs> I can't promise anything. But that's not until seven o'clock. So, I've decided I'm going to get my 10 pages reading done for the day. I'm reading The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. Um, the less said about that, the better. I read it so I can manipulate women. That's a joke, but <laughs> I cannot stress enough how much that's a joke. It's an interesting book. I enjoy it a lot, which is not a good look for my personality, but it's a really interesting book. It doesn't have a good rep on TikTok. Um, as you can imagine, because it's, you know, as the title suggests, it's a bit controversial, we'll say that, but very interesting stuff. I'd recommend a read. The, uh, uh, let's, let's, swiftly moving on. This is the makeshift football kit. Got the old Sunland top on. Mwah. What a kit. Is that cringe? Is it cringe that I'm wearing my hometown club's top to go and play five side? Mildly, yes. Uh, but yeah, this is this is what we're rocking with. It's a bit uh, thrown together, but what can you do? Plus, these are my football boots. A pair of old SPs. It, it, it's the best I've got my literal football boots so yeah <laughs>